Sounds evil. But let's call it morally gray. Doing a little gray robbing, huh? I knew you weren't completely boring. I'm still gonna beat you to the sword. Let's go get to know each other. So we're nice and quiet. Like your grave! Please before the line. Are you really so eager for destruction?
Vegeta! Such a grand arsenal! Should I learn next? Lay low by the light. Arcane arrow. Ready to cast. Magic with grace and honor. you will need to find the Tome of Fate and read the Fate Maker's Creed aloud to gain entrance to the relic repository below the ruins. Your voice echoes through the ghastly ruins. There is no answer. These skills are the inks with which I scribe my name in legend. Every chest just to be sure. As the mimic dies, 
it. It belches out the goopy tone of fate. You're gonna have to read it aloud on the altar outside. My old nemesis. Reading? Out loud. Place the Tome of Fate upon the pedestal and read out the Fate Maker's Creed. Fate does not divide us. Fate brings us together. Ooh, I like that. Fate brings us together. That's going on my vision board. Do you really believe that, Kate? But, I guess, you know, fate brought us together to play games. I don't know, whatever. Ketchup wine. One time. Oh, that's one lucky guy. Excuse me while I sleep. 
flip into something more. This time, kill her so hard she doesn't get back up. The fight works. Hero. you for the last time. Please. As the hulking body of the Zomboss collapses, Her Majesty reappears! <laughs> you have impressed Her Royal Hotness with your courage. She says you'll need to bring the sword to the fountain in the main square. It's a little, uh, double entendre, the gubra. <clears throat> Aw, look who's come to play! As you place the sword into the fountain, soul energy swirls through it and out in the city! All the fires are extinguished! The houses get put back together! The crowds are cheering for you! <sighs> Thanks! I love me too! Silly, but I just, I just always wanted an enormous, bordering upon worshipful statue of me. Some little things, you know. Brilliant work, Fate Maker. <laughs> the city is safe, prosperous, and skeleton free. Now that the siege has been lifted, you'll want to avail yourself of our amenities. Start by visiting the blacksmith. Me of the queen. So bright, so beautiful. Oh. Oh, 
I've got a goblin problem. Head to my farm if you're hungry for violence and money. Meet me at my herb garden tooth sweets. Little devil. There's an infestation in my yard. I'm rich. You're desperate. Kill them and I shall pay you. I act not of desperation. But for heroism! Just clear out the field and I'll toss some money your way! Goblins! Ugh. My hate! He's with me! My conscience is clean, villain. Oh, that's one like that! Time for a spell! I'll haunt you! If I can! Dragon. They're dead then? Good! Come back at once! I not take the teeth of my fallen enemy. What? Oh! What? I mean, I, I guess I'll throw them away for you. Uh, here's some money, I guess. Just don't come back. You are a filthy weirdo. No! They're dead! Uh, my plans are ruined!
These lands are a beauty! Such a grand arsenal! Goblins? What blasphemy is this? I attracted those goblins on purpose. See, I'm in love with the alchemist. My plan was to swoop in, defeat all of the goblins, and save her herb garden. Now how am I supposed to catch her fancy? Simply tell her how you feel. Unhelpful. Look, just give her these flowers, would you? Bells will be ringing by sundown. You again? What do you want? I've got a present for you. You do? Give it here. I want it. Flowers? From whom? A message of love from the farmer. <laughs> As if I could be seen knocking boots with that poor thing. Perhaps when pigs fly, or water flows backwards, or a polka dotted poetry reading goblin recites a love poem for me. Good day. <laughs> Did I hear that right? A polka dotted poet goblin? You know, I could do that actually. First, We'll need to attract another goblin. Find me the most pungent gobo loincloth you can smell! I believe you've misunderstood her words, my lady. You sure? I don't know. Only one way to find out, right? Have you ever seen such a skilled hero? The other day, this lord orders me to tell him about my peasant life. Well, my lord, I says, I rise before the dawn and toil endlessly in the oppressive sun. After day's done, I stumble to the scum and chump, listed and burnt, for a pint of soda and stale bread. Then off to bed to do it all over again. Granted, it's not as glamorous a life as a lord, but at least I'm my own master. Wait, no I'm not. Boy, my peasant brothers and sisters! I've just come to the terrible realization that our lives are trapped! Down with the lords, I say! Rebellion! Who's with me? <laughs> Well, that's the hell I isn't it? I feel magical! Unstoppable force! Again! Take me off! Damn you! 
to pick the most vile loin cloth you can find, my lord. Our <laughs> goblin must be pick of the litter. <clears throat> you can take whatever you got. <laughs> my <laughs> hate <laughs> just gained me. Oh, I could prove the oracle wrong. This world is not for you. <laughs> Get struggling.
It worked! It worked! <laughs> what a specimen! Gornish! A goblin female. Pretty name. Gornish. Now for the polka dots. There are some dyes in the old laboratory. Oh, and just to forewarn you, the old laboratory is positively chock-a-block with traps. Y'all want to be careful. What am I even doing here? I smell something so deliciously rank, but I see no sexy goblins whatsoever. You're here in the name of love. Uh oh, well, who am I to stand in the way of true love? I guess I'll stick around. a hero like you once. At least, I think. Before the light. Well done, my lord. Return to me, and we'll die, Lord Nash, with polka dots <laughs> for love. I know what you're thinking. This obsession with Alma's unhealthy. I have no follow-up. I just know you're thinking it. I suppose I did piss my life away, toiling in the thievery, but life is a journey, so says I. Stick Blossom the- Just a dab, and 
well. It worked! <laughs> She's not so bad looking. Or a goblin. Now, how to gift her with a poetic tongue? Ah! Head to the graveyard of Lost Bars! spot where dozens of bards died during a poetry contest. Legends say they're capable of a terrible, mind-destroying dark magic known as spoken word. Did we present a polka dotted goblin poet? What? Oh, really? This I have to see. I'm not one to harvest grain. This farmer's eyes drove me insane. She works the land, tills the soil. A glance from her makes my blood boil. She did it! That's actually impressive. Hey, uh, how do you do this? It must have taken, well, more smarts than I would have given a poor credit for. Maybe you could tell me over drinks? What? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> Not interested. I'm betrayed. 
probe took my nest here. Uh, goblin. She's stronger than you and twice as good looking. <laughs> Go brew yourself a love potion and buy yourself your own goblin. <laughs> what? How dare you? Do you know who I... What I... Uh. Bend your ear a moment. I know it might seem strange to you, but the alchemist wasn't right for me. Flournesh here sees into my soul. We were meant for one another. And it's all thanks to you, my lord. There's no greater gift than love, but perhaps this will ease your wondering heart all the same. My thanks. Have I been hexed? Perhaps a charm? My life I'd spend on her sweet. Glornesh, would you like to see my bedroom? I thought you'd never ask. How swift they fall. <laughs> 